the M98B. I had a few good rounds with this thing the other day, and it's fast becoming my favourite sniper rifle in Battlefield 4 because ever since the spring patch, my much loved M40A5 lost a lot of its bullets per magazine, and all snipers got 0 to 100 metres by default. And because I don't use zeroing, <laughs> I just prefer to calculate the bullet drop, I couldn't be bothered to change it back to something else. The M98B kind of feels like it got left alone in the sniper nerf. It got left with 11 bullets in a magazine, which in comparison to a lot of the other sniper rifles now is a huge amount. And along with a 650 meters per second bullet velocity and a minimum damage of 59, this thing will guarantee you a one shot kill headshot at any range. This thing really is by all definitions a heavy hitting bolt action rifle and in comparison to something like the Scout Elite that's built for much faster combat, for different scenarios like close quarters combat, the M98B is basically your go to rifle if you really want to feel like a proper sniper. Somebody who keeps himself distanced from the battle that's going on around them and picking off people one by one. Sniping is perhaps my favourite role to pick up when playing FPS shooters and that's probably evidenced by the fact that I put so much sniper gameplay in my videos. There's just something about the whole experience, the sound of the sniper rifle splitting through the rest of the noise that you can hear and seeing that kill notification come up at the bottom after only a split second. But the wait between the click of your mouse button and the kill being confirmed on the screen can feel like an absolute eternity, especially when you've been lining up that shot for a while. You're the guy that no one expects to get killed by. You're the guy that takes somebody out and then they remember they should have been looking out for a sniper in the distance. They're just flitting through buildings and dashing across open space and all the while you're watching over them just waiting for that perfect moment. The whole role of playing a sniper for me in games, the methodical nature of the steps you take, the waiting, the near misses, the sense that you alone took down that player is one that I really enjoy taking part in. Because of course it takes much more skill to learn how to snipe. If you're running with the M98B like I am here, you've got to be aware of your surroundings. Then you've got to pick a target, you've then got to line it up calculate for bullet drop and lead on the target if the thing is moving and then fire. And as soon as you have fired, you're on the minimap. You've got to move. Suddenly you're out in the open, nearby enemies start to look in your direction and all you're holding is a bolt action rifle that's built for long range combat. It's a risky game to play, but once you've learned the basics, it's not a role that you're likely to want to leave. Just the other day, I spent some time on Battlefield 3 with the snipers in that game and I don't know, there was just something that wasn't quite right there. Maybe it was the, the lack of bullet trail when you fire, which I've become so accustomed to in Battlefield 4, it just feels that little bit more immersive. But when the game first came out, I absolutely hated that bullet trail. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's the white trail behind the bullet when you fire. It's like tracers on normal weapons, but for sniper rifles, it's like a... I think it's actually like a steam trail as the bullet's moving so fast through the air and it's so hot that it produces this trail behind it. I absolutely hated that. I wanted it gone, out of the game. Didn't want to see it anymore. But then after a while, I grew accustomed to it. It fitted into this massive sort of set piece that DICE had created for Battlefield 4. As we know, the game was created to be more cinematic than a lot of games in the past because it was a launch title for the next generation consoles and the game needed to look good, as opposed to that lightweight, stripped down version that you had in Battlefield 3. Now I look at the role completely differently. It's not about jumping round behind cover 50 meters from your enemy trying to get that quick kill anymore. It's more about the emphasis of being that guy holding the powerful sniper rifle knowing you're going to wreak havoc on the enemy team and nobody <laughs> is going to be able to do a thing about it. I might be rambling a bit here, I don't know, but it's just something that I wanted to talk about. And sure, I love playing the assault guy and getting stuck in with lots of close quarter infantry combat, but there's just something about picking up a sniper rifle, especially a powerful one like the M98B, 
and just taking it for a run, you appreciate a lot more of what's going on in the game. Like the ambient sound, the footsteps and the shadows. It's a role that takes quite a lot of getting used to, and you need to put a lot of practice in to make sure you get it right. But above all others in the game, it's the most rewarding and intense way to play. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a rating or comment if you did. It's always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.